Hey guys, Paul from Montana. Uh, I'm working on an Evinrude 6 horsepower. I think this is like a 78 or something. It's an old motor, but it's in real good shape. Um, the problem with this engine was uh, really, really hard to start. Didn't idle well at all. Um, ran okay as long as you kept it, the gas on it, but um, and I tried to put a different fuel tank on it and that didn't help. So. Uh, so what I did was, um, I took the welch plug um, out of the top of the carburetor, right where that light is. Um, I popped the welch plug out of there. And uh, <clears throat> here's what the welch plug looks This is a new one. Um, just this dome little piece of, of uh, metal. I don't know what it's made out of. It kind of looks like aluminum. but um, <clears throat> Anyhow, I popped the welch plug out of there. And I also pulled the uh, this low speed adjustment um, screw or whatever you want to call it completely out, and I sprayed it real good with some carb cleaner. And you can see there's little tiny orifices down in there, and I sprayed those real good with some carb cleaner, and then I blew it blew it out with an air compressor. Um, I'm going to tap the Welch plug back in the new one. So it's how you do that is, I mean, there's lots of videos online, but you just tap it in, try to keep it square, and then you can you kind of hit it in the center um, to make it kind of expand out and make a real good seal in there. Obviously, you want it to be airtight. Um, so anyhow, um, that's what I did to this engine. I, I'm hoping that will work to make it run uh, great. And um, I'll do another video uh, here in a little bit when I try to fire this thing up, see how it went. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, I got this motor in here. Uh, got it in a tank of water so I can run it. Um, I already started it up. Uh, it was awesome. I choked it two or three poles, bam, fired off. So let's listen to it run here. It's warmed up, so this is nothing too uh, too special. But here you go. Awesome. Starts like nothing. And I'm telling you, last summer I could barely get this started. Uh, and if you idled it down at all from when you were kind of trying to cruise with it, um, it would die every time. And you'd be lucky to get it started again. Um, and now it starts one pole just like it did years ago. So <clears throat> I'm telling you if, you, if you have idle problems and starting problems with your outboard, it's probably the low, low speed carburetor circuit, which, you know, starts with your rich lean adjustment right here and uh, it's inside the carburetor pull the welch plug out um, you drill a little tiny hole in there don't let the bit go through you'll dink up the carburetor go online watch guys um, take welch plugs out get it out of there well, of course you're going to want to order yourself a new one you just punch in the, ser the uh, model number of your motor and do carburetor illustrated parts breakdown and you can find the part number for these they're, they might, they're kind of all different. I don't know how many different ones Evinrude uh, uses, but um, you're going to want to have a brand new Welch plug. Um, take your uh, lean rich um, low speed mixture out along with this nut right here. You want to lo loosen that nut first and then take this out. Spray carb cleaner in there, super good. Clean those little tiny orifices out, super good. Blow some air in there and then put your um, low speed needle back in. And you want to be careful with that, but take, screw it in there till it just barely seats. And then you want to back it off about a turn and a half. That's a good place to start. And then tighten this nut down pretty snug. That's what seals this whole system. It pushes on a little sealing washer in there that seals it around this rod. Put your new welch plug in. Um, put a little ding in the center of it. Spreads it out, seals it real good. Put your fuel line on and off you go. And of course when you're out on the water, you want to get that engine good and warmed up before you make any uh, lean rich adjustments to, to the idle. But um, I did throw a new fuel line on here while I was at it. The old one looked fine. This was just 
because um, I you know had it apart might as well do it but there you go don't don't take your carburetor out pop that plug out of there clean those orifices clean the the tube going to the low speed circuit and it probably gets you a engine that'll just start and run like a champ all right thanks for watching